What is going on guys, it is Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your Windows 7, Vista or XP user interface look like Windows 8. It's very simple and what you want to do first of all is have WinRAR or WinZip installed. If you don't have any of them, there will be a link to a video There'll be a yeah link to a video in the description which will show you how to get WinRAR as I prefer WinRAR and I think it's easier to use. So once you have that, you want to head over to this website and you'll have to wait 30 seconds, then it'll be something here that says download. So I've already waited the 30 seconds. So you just click that and download. Now I've already got it so I can just cancel all that now. So then once you've got it, you want to find where you've saved it. Now the first time you have it it might just be like blank white sheet if that is the case what you want to do is just right click it click open with and then you select WinRAR or WinZip as you can see I've already done it here as well and then you can then just, just open it up and now you want to run this and this is actually really good here so system files transformation if anything goes wrong with the system files on the transformation then it will automatically repair so it's going to be checking to repair the stuff so that'll be good here you get to choose your font I'm keeping it the same and here you want to make sure you pick one of the bottom two if it's undisabled nothing will happen so you don't want that so I'm picking the bottom one then you want to uncheck this and you want to click install oops there we go now we should begin installing and right now I'm just going to fast forward the video. Once that has gone off, what you want to do is just wait for the laptop or computer or something to do something with the program. I don't know what it does. There's something in the background and you just got to wait for it. So again, I'll be back to you when it is done. Okay, so then once it is done, this should pop up. It says the system must be restarted to complete the installation. Click OK to restart the computer and press cancel if you don't want to, but you do want to. So you're going to press OK. So right now I'm just going to go and stop the recording and I'll be back to you when my computer is rebooted. So it's restarted and you can see it does look really nice. You can see the start button here has got that and if you're wondering how you get the tiles up what you do is go right to the corner and you can see that comes up just click left click and you should be taken to it like that As you can see you do have like my username up there start uh, if you click this you can go to some settings run through that if you need to you got some power off buttons here and if you want to get back to your desktop you can either click desktop or you can just click the X up here which will take you here and if no changes have been applied what you want to do is right click click personalize and wait for it to load there we go so yeah if you if you can't do it this way if you can't right click and click personalize what you do is go to control panel all control panel items and then click personalization and then you click unsaved theme or of course you do have other things here which you can click and you can see the background has changed another thing if you click the side up here oops I cannot I think this might be because of my screen recorder yeah it probably is but if you click the side something would pop up and you can like search and stuff like that still not letting me okay and then you've also got these three which you can pick from I usually have it on glass I think it looks really good but let's see what this one looks like looks okay and you can see this actually starts up as well when you are on your desktop so you don't always need to go to that this comes up by itself sometimes and if you want to lock it you can just click lock like that gives you your processor and that's the memory one I think and it's basically it so yep yeah, if you scroll down you move to the right if you scroll up you move back to the left and I did hear something there when I clicked that but yeah 
and you want to get back to your desktop this time because there's no X you just click desktop and that is how you make your Windows 7 Windows Vista or Windows XP look like Windows 8 hope the video has helped you and I hope you liked it please subscribe rate and peace